What's up everyone, this is Jared Production Max, and today we have a review of the Dr. Dre Beat Solo 2. I'm gonna break up this review into three main parts. First is gonna be design, second is gonna be build quality, and third, but the most important part is gonna be the sound and sound quality. If you guys haven't already, I do have an unboxing of these headphones. If you wanna check those out, there's gonna be a link down below in the description box. So let's dive into this review and see if it's worth the $200 asking price. All right, the first thing we're gonna talk about is gonna be design. Now these are slightly larger than the Solo HDs. There's really not that many changes as designs. The biggest change would have to be the ear cups. They're plush and they add a good amount of comfort. I have used these hours on end while listening to music and on my computer. And I have to say they actually do provide a good amount of comfort. The Solo 2s have improved in quality. They're a lot more durable. There's no way I could have done this before in the last Solo HDs and I would never dare to because I feel like they would be a snap. And that's I think the biggest improvement that I noticed with the Solo 2s compared to the last generation is definitely the build quality. Almost everything about the headphones scream out excellent build quality. The only issue I did have with using these headphones when it came to build quality was the hinges. They do seem to be a little flimsy at times and I am a little bit worried in the future if they're gonna hold up. I know that was a big concern while using my Solo HDs. So hopefully the hinges withstand the torture of constantly opening and close them. All right, now let's take a look at the accessories you get with the headphones. Right here, we have the soft case shell. And unfortunately, Beats did not listen to the fans and the consumers. I know fans really wanted a hard case shell to protect their headphones and always complain about the soft case shell. But this is still a pretty good case. It offers a good amount of protection. I'm not afraid to throw it in my backpack when I'm at school with the, all the books and computers in there. I know nothing's gonna happen to it. I have dropped the headphones with the case on here on concrete two times now and nothing has happened. So it looks pretty new. There is a good amount of protection. The only thing that I didn't like is Beats took away the strap and the pouch and in the inside. So they kind of downgraded with the case and that's the only concerns I had with the case. Now let's talk about the head jack. I had no real concerns about this. They do give you a nice play pause and microphone. But the only thing that stinks is though all these features work with Apple devices. But unfortunately, the only thing that's gonna work for Android devices is gonna be the play pause. So the most important part about this review and about the headphones itself definitely has to be sound quality. Cause think about it, that's the main reason why you bought these headphones in the first place. I would have to say the quality has definitely improved from the last generation. The sound is more crisp and it has better quality bass. I know in the last generation, a lot of people were complaining that the bass was overwhelming or too powerful. But I have to say that they really did improve with the new Solo 2. It's definitely a lot more crisp sound. Of course, the quality isn't as good as some of the other headphones on the market. But overall, I think this does have good combination of different qualities from different fields that you're looking for, such as the bass and etc. Overall, I am a fan of the Solo 2 and I would definitely recommend them for anyone who's in the market. Well, that's it for my review, guys. If you did enjoy this, please be that cool guy that gives this video a thumbs up. I'll see you guys in the next one, and this is Jared Production X signing off. Peace.